Coming up, Mass Effect multiplayer, it's official, and we've got you the scoop. Executive producer Casey Hudson joins us to break down all the details in an exclusive Bioware TV interview, next on Bioware Pulse. Locked in to Bioware Pulse. I'm David Silverman. If you've been craving new ways to play Mass Effect, you're in the right place. Today, Bioware officially announced multiplayer for the upcoming Mass Effect 3. That's right, Mass Effect 3 is going to let you engage in all out galactic war with three of your friends. For more information on the four player co op feature in Mass Effect 3, we sat down with executive producer Casey Hudson to bring you this exclusive interview. It's time for Insider. If you haven't played a game in the Mass Effect series before, Mass Effect 3 is really a great place to start. Whereas Mass Effect 1 and 2 were about Commander Shepard and his small crew, this is really the beginning, middle, and end of the whole galactic war. Because it's fundamentally different in that way, we realized multiplayer could be a complement to Commander Shepard's very rich, engaging, single-player story experience. You'll be able to join your friends for four-player co-op missions where you're really fighting for control of locations throughout the galaxy. But what's really amazing about multiplayer in Mass Effect 3 is that for the first time, you'll be able to take control of characters that you've never been able to play before. You can be an Asari, you can be a Drell, you have access to all the different classes and many of the different races that you've seen in the Mass Effect series but you haven't been able to play before. Because it's been an integrated design effort, we've created something that is a cohesive experience between the multiplayer and the single player aspects of Mass Effect 3. These places that Commander Shepard is trying to secure across the galaxy as part of your war assets on the single player side, you're fighting to control those on the multiplayer side. And the better you do, the more you control, the better your single player ending will be. Ultimately, it's about adding more player choice. If you want to do a really complete single player playthrough, then you can absolutely get to the highest levels of success in the end game. But you also now have an alternative. You can take more of that experience into multiplayer. It's actually part of your canon storyline as Commander Shepard. One of the biggest concerns that we've heard is that by taking on multiplayer, maybe we're taking away from what could be applied to the single player story, but um, by adding multiplayer, we actually have the opportunity to make use of an additional team that we've been growing over the years, um, specifically around the expertise in doing multiplayer programming, design, and art, so you get a single player experience that's as polished, it's got all the amazing moments, um, but at the same time, we've been able to add through the addition of Bioware Montreal, this new capability to do multiplayer for the first time. We've worked really hard to make a fun experience and. We're now at the point where developers that have been working on it all week, all day on Friday, will stay until the wee hours of the morning playing multiplayer. And uh, that to us is, is the biggest testament to the fact that it's just a tremendous amount of fun. It continues to be fun day after day and uh, we're just so excited for players to be able to get their hands on it. Well, there you have it. Plenty of exciting new ways to play Mass Effect 3 come next March. As always, we'll keep you posted with plenty more insider features as well as breaking news right here on Bioware Pulse. And don't forget, Dragon Age 2 Mark of the Assassin is available right now for download. It features a brand new follower named Talus, an elf assassin with an amazing array of combat techniques. It's a brand new adventure and it's available on Xbox Live, PSN, and PC. We'll be back with plenty more surprises next week, so stay tuned. For Bioware Pulse, I'm David Silver, reminding you to keep your fingers on the pulse.